Hello America. Other than Muhammad's violent teachings, fighting unbelievers, killing apostates, etc., the biggest concern about Islam here in the West is Islam's position on women. We support women's rights in America, so many Americans would have a problem with a religion that teaches, for instance, that it's okay to beat women into submission. Fortunately for Western Muslims who want to propagate Islam, they're getting quite a bit of help from ABC News, and ABC seems to have no concern for truth or accuracy as they defend Muslim beliefs. Consider the following claim by ABC World News anchor Diane Sawyer. The Quran is filled with stories we all know. It talks about um, how the world began, I guess, from Adam and Eve, um, and that's what Islam is. In the beginning, Adam and Eve. Though in Islam, God created them equally out of dust, not one from the other. So, Judaism and Christianity claim that Eve was created from Adam. But Islam, according to ABC, teaches that Adam and Eve were created equally from dust. I guess the implication here is that women are inferior in Judaism and Christianity since Eve was created from Adam. I'm not sure that reasoning works if you want to say that Eve was created from Adam, therefore Adam is superior to Eve. You'd also have to say, well, Adam was created from dust, therefore dust is superior to Adam, and that would just be silly. But let's toss all of that aside for now, because I have one major objection to Diane Sawyer's claim. It's totally, completely, and utterly false. What does the Quran say? O mankind, be dutiful to your Lord, who created you from a single person, Adam, and from him, Adam, he created his wife, Eve, and from them both he created many men and women. It seems that Allah created everyone from a single person, Adam, and also created Eve from Adam. But maybe we shouldn't be too hasty. Is there another verse in the Quran that tells us about Eve's creation? Indeed, there is. Surah 7, 189. It is he who hath created you from one person, and out of him produced his wife, that he might dwell with her. Interesting. Out of him, Adam, Allah produced his wife, Eve. Since Eve was created from Adam, the Quran goes so far as to say that women in general were created from men. In Surah 30, 21, we read, And one of his signs is that he created mates for you from yourselves, so that you may find rest in them. If that isn't clear enough, let's go to one of the greatest Islamic commentaries on this verse, Tafsir Jalalain, which reads, And of his signs is that he created for you, from yourselves, mates. Eve was created from Adam's rib, and the remainder of mankind from the reproductive fluids of men and women. So, according to Tafsir Jalalain, Eve was created from Adam's rib. There is, however, a greater commentary out there, the most respected Muslim commentator of all time, Ibn Kathir. What does Ibn Kathir say on this issue? Allah commands his creatures to have taqwa of him by worshipping him alone without partners. He also reminds them of his ability in that he created them all from a single person, Adam, peace be unto him. And from him he created his wife, Hawa, Eve, who was created from Adam's left rib from his back while he was sleeping. Now, even though Ibn Kathir wrote Islam's most respected commentary on the Quran, there are even greater authorities on the meaning of the Quran than Ibn Kathir. Muhammad's companions Ibn Abbas and Ibn Masud are beyond question. Muhammad said that if you want to learn the Quran from anyone, learn it from Ibn Masud. And Ibn Abbas was the founder of Quranic studies. Fortunately, we have a narration that goes back to both of them. It reads, Adam was settled in paradise. Adam used to go about there all alone, not having a spouse to dwell with. He fell asleep, and when he woke up, he found sitting at his head a woman who had been created by God from his rib. Wait a minute, what am I thinking? I've totally left out the greatest authority on the teachings of Islam, Muhammad himself. I wonder what Muhammad had to say about the creation of women. Allah's Messenger said, Treat women nicely, for a woman is created from a rib, and the most curved portion of the rib is its upper portion. So, if you should try to straighten it, it will break, but if you leave it as it is, it will remain crooked. 
So treat women nicely. Muhammad, the greatest authority on Islam, says that woman was created from a rib. What does this give us? The Quran, the Hadith, the Tafsir, and the Sirah all agree that Eve was created from Adam. Muhammad, Ibn Masud, Ibn Abbas, Ibn Kathir, the two Jalals, everyone agrees that Eve was created from Adam. And who do we have giving us the opposing view that Adam and Eve were created equally from dust? World-renowned theologian and Quran expert, Diane Sawyer. In the beginning, Adam and Eve. Though in Islam, God created them equally out of dust, not one from the other.